Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WBLN Coach's Corner. I'm Javier Fernandez, and I'm here with the head coach. How are you doing, Don? I'm doing great. Yourself? Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you very much. So, Don, these guys might not have been able to watch the game last week mm -hmm. up in D.C., but you guys go up there, and it was a rough week without a doubt. Yes. Um, but the biggest thing that stood out to me watching the game was that they, we allowed about 21 points right at the end of the second quarter. What went wrong in that period of time? Well, I think we just lost our composure. Uh, we turned the ball over. And sometimes, you know, with the inexperience that we have in certain positions, that can happen. And we just got to continue to uh, develop and get better in that. And with, with time, that happens. Uh, and not let, that, not let the game get away from us as much as it did. And it, it, it can hurt you. You know, you can't make mistakes and give great teams opportunities. They're going to cash in. And how, how did the team improve to the second half? Because we were down about 35 to zero at the end of the first half. And then we really did take a step up in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter. We were passing the ball. We looked a lot more comfortable. What went right in the second half? Well, I think just composure. Guys uh, gathered their composure and kind of felt the need to uh, just step it up a little. Uh, things can go your way at certain advantages. You take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of you sometimes. But I think the main thing is that we, we maintained our composure. We gathered our composure and kind of you know, kept it at a, a, a medium level. And you're talking about a lot about mental things getting in the way for this team last week. How are you going to stop that from getting in the way for this team for the rest of the season? Well, practice this week has been very, uh, I would say, mentally challenged. So they the focus for the next week. We don't look at uh, the type of team we're playing or what level they're on. We still got to have that mental capacity in order to compete at a high level. And I think this week we've had a, a lot of great days of practice this week. And I'm looking forward to see if it, can, it rolls over to Saturday night. And Don, now you guys are playing at Southwest Saturday night. Yeah. You guys have had a long stretch of away games. Yes. Now to be playing back here in Miami after playing in D.C., what does this mean for the team? Well, it's, it's huge to always. Well, that's, that's kind of like a, a, a rivalry that we've mm -hmm. had with Southwest for over some time that I've been here. They've, it's been a very challenging game off and on and then not so challenging in some areas. And we're just looking right now. We're not really concerned about who's on the other sideline. We're looking to gather what we have on our sideline and continue to uh, finish out what we had this week in practice, which was a great week of practice that led is going to lead up until Saturday night. Gave us a, had a couple extra days of practice, so I'm looking forward to seeing the guys just execute at a high level on Saturday night. Don, uh, a lot of the, what we talk about at the school is right. the brotherhood, right. the unity. Who on this team are the leaders that really unite this team? Well, you have a, quite a few, man. You have uh, Kamani Alexander, uh, Andreas Miares, AJ Paredes, uh, Javi Brito, Gavin Marshlin. Uh, those are some of the main guys, and I know I'm probably leaving a couple guys out, but uh, they they do a good job, man. Like uh, the one guy that I'm, Rianda, mm -hmm. has really like turned it on this year, and he's having a phenomenal year. Uh, he's he's doing extremely well, and I'm I'm very very proud of him. And uh, Cam Walter, all those guys are stepping it up. We got a handful of guys that really come together and create some uh, some uh, high level uh, intensity for us that keeps us rolling. What do you need to see from these guys, these leaders, to pick up the win this weekend? Just a little consistency mm -hmm. in order to understand and not let the teammates get down in situation. Of, one, one play don't define you, will never will, good or bad. You just have to take that play and move to the next one with the same intensity level that it is intended and continue to do a good job. Man. And good things will happen. Well, Don, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Appreciate super excited it. for the game. Saturday night against Southwest yes. at Tropical Park. If you guys want to be there, we will not be broadcasting it. So make sure to show up to the game, show the team some support. Yes. Uh, let's pick up the win, get back to 500, and then we've got a stretch of home games to That's go. Right. Yeah. That's right. It'd be, it'd be a very good uh, ending of the season. But thank you for having me. Thank you very much, Don. All right.